everybody. Hey, it's early morning here and uh, the sun has just started to peep up. I got a spot here where I've got some signs. I've got some uh, brick pieces here. I'm not quite sure there's a ginger beer, uh, ginger beer bottle fragment. I'm not sure what was here or whether it's off in this sugar cane or whether it's back here in this uh, turn row or in this field or what. But uh, it's gonna be unbearably hot today. It's uh, it's it's sunrise right now. The sun's just peeping out, and I'm gonna try to get a an hour or two in. And it, it, within about three hours, it'll be feels like a hundred, and then it's gonna go up to about 110 heat index today. So that's my limit. I'll uh, I'll dig when it's 109 heat index, but I won't dig when it's 110. You gotta draw the line somewhere. So let's keep digging. Let's get digging. Woo! Yeah, everybody, I got a big chunk of lead, early morning melted lead. That doesn't prove or disprove anything, but there are some scant signs in here, so I'm gonna keep going. I'll tell you that first 20, 30 minutes of the day is a real blessing. After that, it's kind of miserable. All right, <laughs> back at it. Well, here's a, uh, here's a rivet on top of the ground. I am uh, concerned that I'm headed the wrong way. I think I may be headed away from the site. It's been really thin. Scant signs. I'm going to continue a little bit, but uh, it's uh, really too hot to make any mistakes. Well, here's uh, more scant signs. I've picked up four or five of these Prosser buttons here. And, uh, you know, one of the things that I could think of is, you know, maybe somebody's hit this site before. It'd be really unusual. It's way out here. Um, it's possible, though. Um, and somebody just wasn't picking up these buttons, uh, which probably most people don't. Uh, it would be unusual. Most of my sites have not been hit um, ever when I find them, but uh, we'll see. I'm gonna keep going. I got another piece of lead, a couple more Prosser buttons. I got a couple of uh, rivets, um, leather rivets. You know, if you're not digging leather rivets, then you're missing half times, so. I don't know, I think my tendency is to, a hunch here is to think that the site is virgin, it's just very thin, or I'm not quite on top of it. And I don't know really which direction to go. So I'm gonna try the next field and see if that has stuff and gives me some signs. Back at it. Well, folks, I just spent an hour in this next field and didn't have as much as a single non-ferrous signal, not even a can, so. I think this site is in the opposite direction, which is in some sugar cane still. Uh, feels like temperature is already 102, and it's about 9.30, 9.45 in the morning. So I'm going to do a little scouting uh, in a different spot, I think. Stay tuned. Well, folks, this is another place that I had uh, marked from earlier. Uh, it's gonna have uh, aluminum can and some junk, but uh, that's a, some sort of a foundation stone right there. There's no stones here that occur naturally. There's uh, some brick, a little bit of glass, some pottery. Um, unfortunately, there's tall cane on this side, and uh, unfortunately also tall cane on that side. So, uh, I'm just gonna do a little bit of this row here in the middle and uh, try to be in the semi-shade for a little bit. Whew, goodness, it's hot. See what I come up with. May not be worth it, may be great, who knows. Well, here's a Prosser button peeking out of the surface of the turn rail. So that could be anywhere from 1850s to 19, 40s. I mean, it's hard to know. Probably a pipe fitting. Um, no clue. I was like, maybe that would be some sort of a fuse. <laughs> but not my luck. Alright. Well, folks, here's the update. Spent an hour doing this and uh, not enough signs to... Uh, not enough non-ferrous signs to really say one way or another. Um, I do see 
occasional stones like this, and I do see some glass and pottery, but uh, just not enough of it up here on top to, to know. So I'll have to come back here later on and uh, try it again when I can get out in these fields when there's no crops. All right, uh, this day is kind of <laughs> sputtering right now on life support, so I'm going to see if I can get into some treasure. All right, I'll be back in a bit. Well, I went to another place and I finally have something old. It ain't much, but it is something old. That is the top of a crown winding pocket watch. I'm glad to have anything. Gosh, all I've dug was lid and I bought some crosser buttons this morning and dug some trash. Wow, it is ungodly hot, but I'm gonna go a little bit in here. Well, I got a marble here, just poking out of the top. It's complete. Good. Here, yeah, people say, you know, if you have so much properties, so many permissions, you know, 80,000 acres, how are you not always on a site, and, you know? Well, it's not about the amount of acreage you have. It's about getting on a spot. Um, it's about finding spots. It's about figuring out where spots are and what the boundaries are and uh, spending the time in the right spots and the weather being right and the field conditions being right. And it's just, there's a lot going into it. Um, I think a lot of people don't realize um, when they kind of smart off sometimes. But uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot to it all. And uh, I'm just happy to have a place that's semi-dry to dig this morning, higher ground, and uh, making a couple of trickle of finds here. Well, everybody, uh, I've got a killer signal here. I read reading 89, uh, 86, somewhere around in there. Half dollar signal, and flopped out this. That is a complete turret. It's kind of a fancy one too. I like that. Nice fancy turret. Cool. All right, keep digging. Well, 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 look at this. Out of that hole, I dug something that's round and it reads like a nickel. So it's time for the nickel guessing game, nickel guessing game. What are you? What will you be? Will you be a shield? Will you be a V? I don't know. Maybe you'll be a buffalo yo yo. Don't be a Jefferson, please. No Jeffersons allowed. What is it? Hmm. I'm trying to figure this out. Let me uh, figure this out and I'll be right back. Well, folks, I can see some very faint stars around the edge, so I think that is a worn out V nickel. So, cool. At least I got an old coin today. All right, back to digging. Hey, folks, not sure what this is. Just swap that out. Some sort of a plaque. <laughs> well, it's made in Louisiana, whatever it is. LA, right there, where it's the last two of the. Well, that's two of the name of the item, name of the company. Probably says company name up top and then something LA down below. Kind of cool. Well, I'm not sure what this is. Some sort of a big piece of pipe. Fitting, weird fitting. It's a nice hunk of brass is what that is. Good recycling piece. It's chromed, so it's not incredibly old, but it's kind of interesting. I won't be keeping it. I'll be recycling that. All right, back at it. Hey, everybody. I've got a surface nickel right there. So it is time for the nickel guessing game. Nickel guessing game. Uh, where are you? Oh, man. Is it a Jefferson? Oh, boo. I think it's a Jefferson, folks. Yep. Well, that's crappy. Probably from the 40s, I had to guess. Not that it matters much. 
40s or 50s. One. Yep. Would have been nice to have a silver nickel. Alright, back at it. Hey everybody. It's roasting out here. And there is a baby doll arm or leg. And it has a Roman numeral on it. Looks like number five or number six. Maybe six. Um, it's unusual to have the Roman numerals. Um, usually it's just regular numbers on those for the size, but that's kind of cool. All right, keep digging. Well, folks, I'm gonna take a little break and sit in some AC and uh, see how I feel. I will uh, maybe be back for some digging. I may do some eyeballing instead so I can exert myself less. All right, catch you all in a bit. Well, folks, it's uh, not much of a fine sport, this hunt. Uh, you know, it happens from time to time. I always make the best use of my time that I can, but sometimes, you know, sometimes it's just not meant to be. And, uh, you know, with the heat, the summer heat and everything the way it is, uh, you know, I'll take anything I can get. So uh, let's get on with the fines wrap up. I found some wire. Um, found this thing which is probably some sort of a bag seal or bale seal probably a bale seal you can see the iron in it there um, I would imagine that this is some sort of a lead-headed nail that attached to something or a, or maybe a, a thing that uh, a lightning rod wire ran down through that's uh, weird some sort of fixture from a house um, so obviously there was electricity at this house uh, one of the things that I did find that was interesting was this uh, Thing from a pen, uh, like a fountain pen, or so forth. The doll leg, the marble, the uh, top from a pocket watch. This is a uh, piece from a. This is a bent up tax token. I didn't recognize. Thought it was aluminum. That's probably off a horse bit. Then uh, I got the uh, 1941 Jefferson. Unfortunately, it's not it was not late enough to be a silver nickel. Um, then I got this really cool turret, which I actually kind of like. I don't have an example like that. So, pretty neat item there. I got the uh, dateless V-nickel. You can barely see the V on the back. And last of all, I got this nameplate, which I'm actually pretty stoked about uh, because it's a mystery. Um, L-A, I would imagine that that's Louisiana. Oh, it could be the last two letters of whatever company made the item. But uh, until the rest of that comes up, I won't have any idea what that is. But it's definitely a brass nameplate off of something. All right. Catch you all on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.